Awesome. Um, so we wanted to do another bit of a product demo today uh, while we're out here fishing. And uh, today's product we're going to be demonstrating is the sky clip that is made for the Spry Plus. So um, Spry Plus is another waterproof drone that's made by Swell Pro. Um, basically goes out 800 meters. It can carry six ounces and three hooks. And uh, I'll tell you what, it's an agile little drone in the wind. Now, we've added the um, sport props to it as well, just to give it a little bit more lift and uh, get it out there. But um, one of the things that we want to make sure that we put out there when you're using the sky clip that's made for the spry is because of how low this is to the ground, like that's going to literally be sitting in the sand. One of these landing mats is absolutely vital to your setup. So again, we've got both of our um, tension release clips on the bottom of this drone, just so you can see the difference on them. Today I'm going to be using the sky clip tension release. We're going to be getting these baits out wide. So we've got two hooks um, and a three ounce sinker, just, just as your wood surf casting. But obviously when you can get out in 800 meters, you're going to get your surf rig out a little bit further. So um, I'm going to fire this bad boy up. I'll show you how to calibrate it. Uh, so here we go. Power button on the top of your remote control, just like so. It's on. Power button on the top of the drone. Here we go. She starts coming to life, you know you're working. Good thing about this drone is it's got the, inside the remote control, it actually has a screen that shows you what's going on live. Let me bring this in a bit closer. How's that look? Yeah, that just gives you an idea of what the remote looks like. But we'll up and start to uh, send it out yonder. First thing we've got to do is our calibration. And it's exactly the same as the FD1 and the SD4. So top uh, right hand side of the remote, there's a joystick that says GPS, Circle Flight and ATTI. We're going to rapidly move that up and down. OK, it says on the remote horizontal calibration, rotate drone clockwise. All right. Now Matt, so horizontal. Keeping an eye on the uh, remote control. Yep, vertical. So it says vertical calibration, clockwise, nose down. So going to dip this down and continue. We'll know when that's completed because it will say initializing. Here we go. Set that on the uh, mat. Good practice, always set it on a flat surface um, while it's initializing. Right, we are good to go. Just like all of our other setups, gonna be using our release wire. Now, again, these release wires fit in both of our um, tension release clips. Again, I typically wouldn't have both of these on there, but today for demonstration purposes, we wanted to have both just so you guys can see the difference. And um, I tell you what, from testing both of them, the feedback has been that the sky clip is a very, very good tension release indeed. So we're just gonna check that into the two ball bearings like so. And because we've got our mat, not gonna have to worry about getting sand in between our sky clip ball bearings. And, and that's why these um, landing mats are absolutely vital when you're using these sky clips. So check them out. Right, we are set to go. Bail arm is ready to go. Ooh, can't even hear it. So the drone that we've been using today, the difference with this drone is you do actually have to create tension to release your, um, your payload or your hook section or um, whatever is attached to your release wire. We're going to set this one about 250, I think. Yep, 250. Yep, tension. Yep, done. Return home. So on the top here, pushing return home. The amazing thing with this drone is I can actually see it on screen. I can see it coming back to us. This, this is amazing. Um, she's a pretty little, <laughs> pretty cool little drone. 
one of the brothers that um, is actually our, our amazing cameraman, he absolutely adores this drone and I can actually see why. Um, it's a different level when you've got a camera and you can see exactly what the drone's doing. So he's behind the camera going, yep, yep. <laughs> so here she comes. Actually, that was very easy. That was very, very easy. Just like that, eh? Land a drone and you're getting bites. And we're getting bites already. So, hey man, that's a very quick rundown to how the spry works, um, the remote control, and uh, I mean, we're already getting bites. So look, if you're out there, you love surf casting, but there are days where you just want to get a little bit further, this just might be the drone for you. Um, comes with a camera on the front and uh, it's 1080, so brilliant uh, when it comes to clarity of picture. And um, like I say, as I'm, as I'm talking to you, this is still filming, so um, amazing little setup indeed. Very small, fits in the, in the boot of your car, in the back of your car. Um, so these Sky Clips also come available in sizes that will fit the DJI Phantom um, and also the DJI Mavic Pro 2. So if you're out there, you've got those drones, you've been using them for filming, and you think, hmm, I think, hey, that's usually a good sign when the line goes that slack like that. But hey, I've been thinking about getting into a bit of fishing as well. These sky clips will make that possible for you. So hey, check them out on our website. Um, the link will be in the description below. Otherwise, yeah, come in and see us in store and we'll help you out. So here we go. I've just got Maddie to come in a bit closer. Because as, as your hook section gets into the wash area, um, that's, that's where a lot, of the, a lot of people lose their snapper or their fish in this, this wash, um, the snapper starts feeling the sand, they, they start feeling the waves and all of that, so they start playing up again, they get their second wind. Um, but if you walk closer to the water, just before the, the hook section becomes visible, you've got all of that sand behind you then, to do a bit of backpedaling and keep your line tight, keep your hook nice and tight, connected to the fish, basically while you are fighting them and pulling them backwards, so yeah. Here we go. Ooh, yep, pulling line. Pulling line. Shucks. I saw that. I saw that. Here we go. Yep. That's tugging on that line right there. Here we go, here we go. It's not far now, bro. Got a snapper. Nice snapper, too. And a bronzy, it looks like. Oh, hammerhead. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here you go, bro. Hold this. Release them nice. Always, always do your best to release the sharks. Put the hooks out where you can. But uh, check that out. Nice little snapper coming up in the beach as well. 